They wrote draft papers where they wrote drafts on some kind of prior experience, whether it's in a class, about public health, or their own work experience or an internship. It's a way of, of helping bring that experience into the class so other people get to learn about things their classmates have done. One of the things we did in India was we went to uh, a hospital, the maternity ward, there were all these women who were extremely malnourished and like all the husbands were like really like normal, like weight, like healthy. The research that I did was kind of more looking at how we can identify Alzheimer's before it manifests symptomatically because there are chemical brain changes that occur before symptoms onset like 20, 30 years before. Or at least from the research I've done and from mm -hmm. what I know there isn't necessarily a direct correlation between homelessness and asthma. You have a lot of students who are drawn to the health sector, right, you, you know, in terms of potential employment. I would like to do something in reproductive health care. My global health interest has translated into being pre-med and a gov major. I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do with it, whether it's getting an MD, getting a master's of public health, maybe getting both. You've got a lot of politically engaged or concerned students who see health issues of various kinds as very important to them personally and or the country. And I think public health just like emerges as something that feels really connected to so many disciplines and really connected to the common good. And it's something that, you know, a liberal arts curriculum can and should tackle. Health is about sociology and health is about hard science and health is about psychology and history and literature. It's a super interesting project because right now it, as it stands it's like a one-time experiment but I'm hoping that it'll shape public health at Bowdoin in the long term.